Well, I mean, I just hope they have fun. They enjoy it. You know, it's entertaining. It's a, it's a mystery filler. But, uh, you know, in essence, you're not going to get the full story from this first hour. You know, I, I encourage people to watch this first hour and hopefully invest into the rest of the series um, because it's so, so important. And it's, you know, it's something I feel like can really be life changing for this country. I, you know, I want people, I want people to be um, excited enough to tell people to tune in because it's just the beginning. It was written so well. Gina and Reggie are such amazing writers and they have such integrity and um, they wrote this woman who just like, she kind of jumped off the page so I didn't really need much inspiration. Very eager to put this into the world. We hope that it absolutely starts to spark conversation. You know, nervousness as well. You know, you hope that an audience receives it. Um, but yeah, just just eager to put it into the world. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's it's been really great that you know we've done screenings across the country from you know Charlotte to Detroit to Nashville to New York to DC, all over. And and so it's been real blessing to just see audiences respond in such a positive way. And I think really now all we just hope is that we pe we hope people come and check out Hour One so that they can really have like great entertainment. And, and, and our goal is to entertain people and without them even knowing it, raise their consciousness. Yes, I play Lieutenant Breland. Uh, Sanaa and Stefan arrive in this town in North Carolina and I'm the lieutenant of the police station where they come to. And um, I was the first on the scene after the shooting the, the shooting that starts the story. I was the officer that arrived first after the, the incident. And so I'm sort of right in the center of the, the story. Playing Shamika Campbell. She's one of the mothers in the show who's lost her son at the hands of the police. Wow, where did you find inspiration to go deep into your character? I mean, I, like many of us, was just kind of heartbroken. Um, and this project came along and it was a space, thank God, for me to put that, honestly. But it's, you know, it's a, I don't have kids yet. It's an experience that I can't even begin to fathom. Um, and, you know, it's just an honor to be a part of a project, you know, for my activism to be my work, because that doesn't always collide. I play Sarah Ellis, and she's the aide to Governor Emmons. She's very young, she's very um, helpful in all things social media for the governor, but then uh, over the course of our show, we start to see her offer very different insights and become the governor's kind of right-wing right -wing woman. It's like having a baby. I'm ready for it to be out in the world and for everyone to see it and to start speaking about it and, and uh, to see the impact that it has on our, on our society. My character's name is Charlene, and Charlene is a journalist that, that moves away and comes back to the town because she feels like there's something that she can do and use her voice to bring change. 